uh, it would get there. We have eliminated the need to print anything out on a laser printer. We have eliminated the need to go searching through the office to find the fax machine wherever somebody may have moved it. We have eliminated the need to go buy a $3,000 fax machine. And we have dramatically improved the output that arrives at the other end. Let me show you what I mean. Normally on an X machine, when you want to print something out, you go to the print menu. You push it, and up pops a print panel. Looks something like this. And you can select uh, what type of printer you want to use, et cetera, and you just normally push this button called print. Well, we've added a new button to our release 2.0 software that appears in every single application. And it's called the fax button. You push the fax button, and you get a new panel, which is the fax panel. And in the fax panel, all of the people that you've stored phone, fax phone numbers for appear. And you can pick one, Motorola, Lotus, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, these are fake fax numbers. And uh, so let's say I'm going to send this to Adobe. And of course, I can add numbers, delete numbers, et cetera. I th can ask for a notification in the mail system whenever the fax is delivered, cover letters, et cetera. And I simply push this fax button over here. And when I push this fax button, a remarkable thing happens. Normally, everything you see on the screen of a next computer goes through PostScript, which means that the file is sent through PostScript, and PostScript is turned to 92 dots per inch, and it, we image the file on the screen. That same file is sent through PostScript when the knob is turned to 400 dots per inch to go to our laser printer. We take that exact same file and we feed it through PostScript with the knob turned at 200 dots per inch, which is the Group 3 International Fax Standard. We then compress it with our special software and send it out through one $500 fax modem, which can be shared over the network with up to 100 people. And it is then sent on its way to the fax printer down the road. When it gets there, the printer will print out something that looks substantially better than any fax you've ever seen before because our PostScript software does a much better job of rendering the fax with high fidelity than the scanner on modern fax machines does. And you have to see this for yourself to believe it. So we have built in now a way to fax that is substantially better than faxing by hand on the best fax machine and saves you from running all over the office because it's totally electronic and takes advantage of next networks. Okay. Now, what happens when we get an incoming fax? When we get an incoming fax, all the incoming faxes are sent to one central folder and can be distributed uh, by a person throughout the mail system, or you can just look there to find your incoming faxes. And we have a fax reader program that comes with the system that shows you exactly what a fax looks like. And this is captured right off the fax modem. This is a fax from John Warnick at Adobe, the CEO of Adobe. And um, I can actually read it here, save paper, save a tree. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't edit it. And if I cut it and paste it and want to put it in other applications, I have to just treat it as a picture. Because of course, it's just a fax. But in the next system, I can do so much more. I can select this right in the fax reader program. And I can go back to our menu of services. And one of the services that has been created by one of our third parties, HSD, is called OCR Servant, Optical Character Recognition. And I can say I want to OCR the selection that I just made. And down here, the OCR Servant from HSD runs. It automatically picks up all the data from the last application and puts it in my window here, fully OCR'd. And I can then go and say I want to change the font on this by bringing up our font panel. I'll stick with Helvetica maybe, make it 24 points. As you can see, our font panel allows us to um, change the fonts on anything very, very easily. And here we go. Nice big Helvetica. And as you can see, of course, I can edit it to my heart's delight. I can even pick a word like software, go to the services menu, look it up in Webster's. Here we go. So we've gone from a mail message with an incoming fax to looking at that fax with a fax reader program to OCRing that fax with a third party OCR program, to looking up a word in the OCR fax in our Webster's Dictionary. Again, uh, I'm not aware of any other system that will allow you the seamless integration between applications and ability to just move data through these various applications to get what you want. This last mail message 
uh, you might find a little humorous, but I think it's very important. Uh, this last mail message is just alerting everybody to a pizza fest. Um, why did I put this on here? Because one of the largest concerns that we hear when we talk to small and medium-sized companies or departments within even large companies is how do we keep the culture of our company going as we grow? How do we keep the communication that's one of our key competitive advantages while we're small as we grow? And what we've seen here at Next in our own company and what we've seen at many, many of our customers is that this technology increases the level of communication to a degree that is stunning and brings organizations together and makes the organization work as if it was a much smaller, tighter-knit team. And that's not just a business phenomenon. It's not just a technical phenomenon. It's a sociological phenomenon. And the, not only the quantity, but the quality of communication has increased dramatically because of this technology. And you have to use it to really understand what I mean. Just as if I was trying to explain a spreadsheet or desktop publishing to you many years ago. You have to sit down and actually use it. And I encourage all of our customers to do exactly that.